I, I did a conference call today with some of the students um, that's taking my basic one of my one of my life coach certification courses I did a conference call with them today and one of the topics that we was talking about um one of the topics that we was talking about you know it's, it's still on my spirit it's still on my heart and so I just want to share it with y'all um and then like I said I wasn't you know I didn't have I didn't have plans to get on the video today but right before I was I was just about to get out the truck and start my start walking and I got a notification. I saw a notification for something, and I said, "Man, I got, I got to, I got to release it." Let me first of all, let me say this: when y'all see people that you know, like that, do this type of work right here, that do this type of stuff, we have to, we have to be careful. Like when we see people and we envy people, or we, you know, we be like, "Oh, well, you know, it'd be nice if I had this or I had that, or I could do this or I could do that." Because let me tell you something just like jesus told us he said if you if you want to be great if you want to be great you have to become a slave to your gift so this right here what i'm doing like i don't i don't know if people understand how deep this really is like you got to 100 percent sell out not just with what i'm doing but with anything that you're doing you got to 100 percent sell out and you have to become a slave to your gift Meaning that while everybody else is living their best life and they all dolled up and dressed up and you you might be somewhere getting dirty. You may be somewhere in the trenches. You may be somewhere looking like Miss Seeley and Mr. from the color purple, baby. Because sometimes the purpose, it calls for you to be, you, you ain't going to be all dolled up and all glammed out every day. It don't happen like that. It don't happen like that. And you're going to go through your seasons, baby. You're going to go through your seasons where it's just going to be like, Lord, why has thou forsaken me? Where you at, Jesus? Come on now. What, what going on? Some of y'all in that season right now. It's like, all right now, Lord, you told me to quit the job. You told me to walk up out of here. Now where you at? Because I don't see you nowhere. I'm going to I'm gonna need you to show up. What going on? <laughs> so, you, y'all, you, you literally have to become a slave to your gift meaning when you feel like doing it when you don't feel like doing it when god called for you to get that message out or he called for you to go and be here and be there even if you would rather be somewhere else or doing whatever else you you gotta you gotta give all of that up you gotta you gotta sacrifice all of that and which leads me into my point of this video that when you do that i ain't i ain't finna get emotional with y'all today but um it hit me y'all it's hit me because i'm telling y'all when you do that and you do that continuously you do that over and over and over and over you constantly uh delay that gratification and push push what you want to the side you're gonna meet head on with a season that you used to just hear people talk about do y'all understand what i'm saying like i you could be in a season to well you literally in your promised land and you you you've heard people talk about this the promised land you it's just like how it was with the children of israel they heard joshua and them they heard their mom and them they heard their dad and them talking about this promised land talking about this land that the lord has promised to them but they had never seen it because joshua and them they weren't born they they weren't born back there with pharaoh they weren't they didn't come up in egypt they came up in the wilderness so this generation right here this is why god told me we the joshua generation because see a lot of stuff that our grandmama and them great grandmama and them went through we was blessed not to have to go through that we didn't come up in that bondage we came up in a whole nother era we came up in a whole nother time so god say our thinking is different our mindset for some of us our mindset is different and we got that mentality to know you know what i got to get up and go get my stuff i got to get up and go grind i got to become somebody else mentally i got to change my attitude i got to change my mindset because i don't want to just talk about this land no more i want to enter into this land but i want to tell y'all that the seeds like i was telling them on the conference call today the seeds that you sow even this right here what i'm up here doing with y'all right now what i'm up here doing with y'all right now this is a seed this is a seed that i'm sowing into the ground that i'm gonna be compensated i'm gonna be rewarded for this in some type of way but the compensation comes the reward comes when we give freely and we don't expect anything back 
See, you got to get to that point in your life where you just give freely. You just get so in the habit of giving. Y'all excuse me, cause what what is how the sun shining? I can't see nothing. Um, but we you got to get in the habit of just giving so freely to where you don't even you ain't even looking for nothing back. You ain't even expecting nothing. It's like if some come, that's fine. But if some don't, that's fine too. And you can't get in that place to where, oh man, you know, I ain't, I ain't got this or I ain't got that or I ain't, they ain't give me this or they ain't give me that or, you know, I ain't getting no views or I ain't getting no likes or I ain't getting no followers. See, you, like I was telling them on the conference call today, you got to understand God's universal law. You got to understand that you're working with laws right here. When you're working with, with laws, you, Laws has nothing to do with your opinions, your feelings, your emotions, what people say, what people think. I I need y'all to really tap into what I'm saying to you right now. Because you can get this. This is going to take you to a whole nother level. I literally came from nowhere. Do you understand me? Nowhere. Who, who heard of Blakely, Georgia? Other than the folks that grew up in Blakely, Georgia. And the folks that's riding in that little area down there in Southwest Georgia. Other than that. Who know about Blakely, Georgia? Uh, nobody. But because I tapped into some laws. Listen now. Listen now. Because I tapped into some laws. Okay. It it brought me into a season that my grandmama and them only, they, they only prayed about it. Like they only thought about it. They only talked about it. But they never experienced it. You know what I'm saying? They never put, they never laid hands on it. This is why God say we the Joshua generation. Because we got to understand God has already made the blueprint for you to be successful, baby. He already made the blueprint. He already, he already uh, set up the whole journey, like the whole map for you to follow. We mess ourselves up when we go out there trying to set up our own stuff. We go out there trying to make our own laws. See, God told me, God said, I don't break nobody. He said, I ain't break you. He said, I didn't hurt you. I didn't harm you. He said, my will is that you prosper and that you be in good health as your soul prosper. God ain't, God ain't never wanted, God ain't never destroyed nobody. People destroy themselves because they go against the law. See, God say, I don't have to destroy you. He said, because when I created all of this, when I created y'all, when I created the earth, when I created everything, he said, I built laws into everything. I built laws into it. And he said, I, I put the laws there to ensure that you succeed, to make sure that you prosper. Because everything that God made, he saw good in it. And he didn't make it for it to fail miserably. He created it so that it could prosper. But you got to follow the laws. There is no other way, y'all. That's all I did. I am no different from nobody else. I ain't, you know, got some magic potion or some magic formula. Or I'm, I ain't no different from nobody else. And I literally came from nowhere. <laughs> from nowhere. From nothing. But because I tapped into laws, divine universal laws, they don't care what the color of your skin is. Do you understand me? They don't care if you at the bottom of the pole. They don't care if your hair nappy. They don't care if your hair straight. They don't care if you were born in the boondocks. They don't care if you came from the country. They don't care if you came from the Hamptons. They don't care if you white, you black, you Mexican, you Latino, you Puerto Rican, uh, whatever you want to, whatever. Chinese, African, whatever. They don't, the laws don't care. The, so you got to understand when you're dealing with the laws, there are no excuses. Ain't no excuses. That's right, baby. Principles. It's laws and it's principles to this. And the principles for success are the same in every area. Now that I know the laws and the principles of success, I could go sell bubblegum. Y'all understand me? I could go open up me a bubblegum business. I could go open up, open up me a sock business. I could sell socks and be successful. Why? Because the principles and the laws are the same. They the same. That's why now, out of all the times that I've tried weight loss, it ain't never worked for me. And now it's like it's working for me. You know why it's working for me? Because I understand the laws and the principles. It's the same for anything that you do. Whether it's weight loss, whether it's starting up a business, whether it's, you know, uh, getting your family in line or getting your health in line. The laws, the principles, they all the same. They all the same. So no matter where you came from, no matter what you... Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a, a teaching about the laws. Uh, somebody asked, "What what are the laws?" It's it. I'm gonna do a teaching on that, y'all, because God done definitely put that 
put that in my spirit it ain't something that i could just go over right now real quick in this live but y'all just make sure all your notifications and stuff are turned on because i'm gonna do a teaching i'm gonna do a teaching on that but i'm telling y'all the main message that i want you to get from this right now is sow your seeds sow your seeds because that's one law right there that whatever you sow into the ground you're gonna reap that okay you're gonna reap it in some type of way there is no such thing as something for nothing you can the world we live in today you cannot get something for nothing you're gonna have to put something into the ground you're gonna have to get put something out in order to bring something in see if you try to go out there and get something and you didn't work for it you try to go out there and get something you ain't paid them for it you want it free you want a handout you want to you want somebody to just put you on or just give you see god said you're breaking a law you breaking the law and he said when you do that you set yourself back you ain't hurt nobody but yourself because the law cannot be broken you break yourself when you try to break the law because the law is it, built into creation it cannot be broken so god say i'm gonna need you to change your mindset i'm gonna need you to get into the get into the mentality to, that's it baby pay your dues i'm gonna need you to get into the mentality of saying how can i give asking yourself every day how can i give how can i give how can i give and it ain't got nothing to do with money this right here ain't costing me nothing do you understand me it's costing me some time costing me some time but it ain't costing me no money so you saying that you ain't got no money ain't no excuse it's something in your possession that you have an abundance of it may be shoes go give some of them shoes away it may be clothes go give some of them clothes away it may be wigs Go give some of them wigs away. It may be watches. It will whatever. Whatever you have an abundance of, start right there and start giving. It may be knowledge. What lessons? What life lessons has uh life taught you? Whatever it is. I got to get going, y'all, because I got to go ahead and walk before I go get my children. But whatever, whatever you have in your possession that you can give, start giving it away. Start giving it away and watch watch how God bless you. And I'm gonna tell y'all, this is how I know. It may take a couple seasons before it come back again. I'm seeing blessings come through to me right now. And those are those blessings are hard. They, they're the harvest of seeds that I planted when I first started doing what I'm doing. When I did not receive a dime. Do y'all understand me? I recorded a podcast every day. I was recording a podcast and for that whole year of putting out them podcasts i made 52 dollars. y'all heard me tell y'all about that before i made 52 dollars. this is after i left my job now this is after i left my job and and everything in me was screaming um you need to go back to work baby you got three children what is you doing but god said no he said didn't i tell you that i got y'all he said, didn't I tell you that if you give up something for me, I'm going to take care of you? Now, I don't tell everybody to quit their job because everybody ain't got that level of faith. Don't you quit nothing. Don't you walk off of nothing if you know that it ain't in your heart. It ain't in your subconscious mind. See, you got to have that in the deepest part of your subconscious mind. That got to be in your core. You got to know that you know that you know that God going to take care of you. He going to take care of your children. If you don't know that, and if it's any shadow of a doubt, you need to stay where you at and you need to work on your belief system and build your belief system because that take a strong belief system. But I stay exactly where I was. I ain't go back nowhere. I ain't go back nowhere. And I kept sowing my seeds. I kept sowing my seeds. And you know what I'm seeing today? I'm seeing my seeds come up. I am seeing them come up. And I'm telling y'all, when you, when you end your gift, it's a peace that you have. It's a peace. You're going to be blessed. People are going to sow into you. People are going to give. When you change your mindset to a prosperity consciousness, to a consciousness of abundance, money will flow to you. You won't have to worry about money. No, it's not about the money, but you need to have the money so that you can have your time because that's why we're losing a lot of our time because we having to go work for people. We having to go work jobs and it's taking away our time that we could be dedicating to doing things like this, pouring into the kingdom of God, sowing into the kingdom of God. So God say, I want you to have the the financial freedom it's the financial freedom for me it ain't got nothing to do with the money it's what the money gives you 
it gives you the financial freedom. It gives you the freedom to dedicate 24 hours to God if you wanted to. If you wanted to do that, God wants you to be able to do that. He don't want anybody else dominating your time. He made you to dominate. He gave you dominion. Okay. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk to y'all a little bit because it was just in my spirit to get up here and tell y'all, sow your seeds, sow your seeds, baby. I don't care. They might call you crazy, but sow your seeds. So that's it, baby. So, 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 so your seeds. S O W. So your seeds. Give every chance you can get and don't even expect anything by. Don't expect anything by any and watch how quick it come back to you. Watch how quick it come back to you. And when it's your season to receive, God say receive it. Don't be sitting up to my uh no, you didn't have to do that. You know, uh no, uh, no, uh-uh. God said take it. Take it. Cause when you trying to push it away, he said you going against the law then too. Cause he said, How you gonna be out here sowing and don't think you ever supposed to receive something? So don't be like how I used to be, baby, because somebody had to check me on that one time. They like, wait a minute. Now I'm trying to bless you. Now, is you going to hush and let me bless you? So that's what God telling some of y'all. Some of y'all is too free hearted and you're so free hearted that you won't even, y'all know, you won't even accept nothing when God trying to bless you. So God say, hush and take that stuff, baby. Get that blessing. I don't care. And some, God said, yeah, I know you got some money in your pocket. He said, I know you could pay for it. But God said, I sent a blessing so you wouldn't even have to touch your pocketbook. You ain't even got to touch your wallet. So we got to learn how to be blessed too. We got to learn how to receive. That's a lesson that a lot of people got to learn. When it's your season to receive, get your stuff. And don't worry about what them folks saying. You done, you know what you done gave out. You know what you done sold. So when your stuff come in, receive it. Because I'm, I'm at that point. You understand me? I'm at that point. That's right, baby. Hush and take that stuff. I don't care. <laughs> Somebody said, Hirsch. I know that right, baby. Hirsch. And take that stuff. What you up here trying to explain this and that? And you get, let them fall bless you. That's an insult. That is an insult. Y'all, a lot of people don't think about it like that, but it's true. Even with a compliment, if somebody tell you you beautiful, don't try to argue down them folks and tell make them folks think that you not beautiful. I don't care. I'm looking like I am right now. Somebody come up here and tell me, Toy, you beautiful. I'm going to say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God don't whoop me about that numerous times. He don't don't go to explaining this and explaining that and trying to. God say just a simple thank you is fine. A smile and a simple thank you is fine. That's the heart of receiving. Receive it because that's 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 your harvest season. Just as well as you give, you gotta receive too. Okay, I love y'all so much. Let me get my walk in, baby, before I've been about to talk myself out of getting out here and walking. But I love y'all. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day.